Hello everyone, Altari here. Today, we are going to show you how to punish Jin Kazama. Please note that this was made for the demo version and may be subject to change upon the release of the game. We are going to show you the character's punishable moves plus frames and some extra tips that may help you when you fight this character. Punishable moves. For punishable moves, we are going to show you about five types of punishable moves. Launch punishable. Use a launcher after you block these moves. For low launch punishable, use a rising launcher. Punish on block, standing. For Nina, 14 frames to 12 frames, she can just use her 12 frame punisher. Punish on block while rising. For Nina, block lows that are 14 frames to 13 frames, she can just use her 13 frame while rising punisher and 11 frames for anything lower. Dodge end of string high. If you know that the end or middle of the string is high, prepare to crouch and punish using a fast launcher if possible. Sidestep or parry end of string. Sidestep right only for this one. Use parry if possible for the last hit of this one. We now move on to plus moves. Most of these we cannot counter, but it's best to know these so that we avoid moving too much once we blocked. This one is low on plus. We can sidestep if you notice that they do a follow-up after this move. Some extra tips for you when facing this character. If Jin is mixing up one, two, three, and one, two, four, you can use a crouch jab before the third hit to cancel his aggression. If you noticed when Jin's attack move goes into Zenshin mode, he is usually vulnerable. Be careful of Jin's chip damage, especially his heat engager. If timed perfectly, you can use your character's parry or sidestep to punish his aggression. 
You can do a backdash to avoid his awakened power stance when timed correctly. After you avoid it, be sure to launch him and punish accordingly. Guys, thank you so much for listening to my video. Feel free to provide feedback and suggestions to help me improve my future videos.